closer to South Korea than I am to mainland Japan right now. There are hundreds of different horse breeds, and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to discover the horse. I've been spending some time in Japan riding the native breeds in this incredible country. It's time to hop on a flight to a remote island in southwestern Japan for my next breed. The island of Tsushima boasts a rich history and cultural significance. Having served as a strategic location for trade and military activities, and even inspired the popular video game Ghost of Tsushima. I had no idea this island existed, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Discover the Horse. It's just so crazy to me how big and special our world is. Nearly 90% of the island is covered with mountain forests, which is home to the endangered Tsushima leopard cat found exclusively here. They also have their very own native breed, the Taishu horse. Tsushima is thought to be one of the first areas in Japan where horses were introduced. According to old documents, horses were on the island as early as the year 739. The horses are known for being strong and able to carry heavy weights. Although they are small, they were the all-purpose utility vehicle before cars and tractors existed. Haruna. Haruna. The Taishu Horse Preservation Association was established in 1972 to keep the breed from going extinct. Today, the breed numbers are still critical as there are fewer than 50 ponies left. Thank you all so much for watching and discovering the Taishu horse with me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can keep riding along with me on all of the next breeds. It's my first wildcat sighting. It's okay. <laughs> You're okay. You're not quite a wildcat, are ya? You're very cute though. <laughs>